This look is very versatile. I usually do the burnt orange, maroon, dark red kind of color. But today I'm gonna try to switch it up. And I was at the drugstore today, Walgreens, and I know that Maybelline have like a lemonade palette, but they also have this soda pop palette right here. Let me show you guys. I'm trying to get like the, oh, there we go. So this is a soda pop palette and this is so, 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 so cute. I just had to get it. Whenever I'm at Walgreens, I, I go there to get one thing and then I end up with a whole bunch of things. So I am going to pretty much start with my transitions today. As you guys can see, my makeup is already done. My face makeup, I contoured, I put blush on. I pretty much did everything, even lips. All I have to do is my eyes, which I do not do. I do not do that, guys. I always start off with eyebrows and eyes. I never put my foundation on before. I think it's weird. And we're just gonna get used to it today because that's the only time I'll probably do it, which is today, okay? Oh my god. <clears throat> Trying to get my mirror. So uh, I have a lot of shades I could choose from. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna probably, for the like, the crease look, the look where it like makes everything look all put together, I'm gonna do this grape pop right, he right here. This like really light purple right here, but as a transition shade, it's really hard to see which one I want. I don't know. I'm gonna do this cola float right here. Do you guys know what those bottle caps smell like? Like the um, candy? That's what it smells like. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that as my transition color, guys, on each eye. And everything's primed and everything. My eyes are primed. If you guys wanna know what I prime my eyes with, it is the LA Girl Concealer. You guys, off bat, this palette is very nice and pigmented. Like, this is really, really nice. So, we're just gonna keep on um, blending that in to our eyes. Ooh, pretty. Very, very pretty. Since I'm not doing a voiceover, I decided let's talk a little bit, right? Let's just do a little girl talk. Um, so recently I met this guy and I met him on like on my birthday weekend and typically whenever I meet a guy on my birthday weekend like two years ago I met a guy on my birthday weekend it just does not work out for me literally it does not work out for me it ends it, they end up being something that they totally said they weren't at all so I met this guy and I went to this after party by myself because I didn't want to end my birthday uh, quite yet by myself well at all so I went by myself because everyone else was too tired so I went to this after party and I saw a couple people there I knew the DJ invited me and Lord knows I should have just hung out with the DJ the whole night and not you know explored I wasn't even exploring it was just like you know how you look cute gotta be like Whoa you want some hookah or a drink and you'd be like why not whatever so we had a really really fantastic conversation he was telling me that he is you know looking to own his own business he was literally everything I was like <clears throat> looking for in a guy and he was he was cute I was like okay well, let's see what how where this goes how it happens and blah 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 okay guys so this is the moment of truth we're gonna use this um grape pop right here this color we're gonna put that in our crease as a transition uh, as a transition color we're just gonna 
see how it goes. I also might put the cherry on top color deeper into my crease and then put the black on my lid. So this is the cherry on top, this is the gray pop, and we're just gonna see what it do. So we're just gonna dip right into that. And I'm telling you, like, just dipping it in there, it's so pigmented, but let's, moment of truth, guys, let's see how it really goes. Okay. This is so pretty. Wow. Super duper pretty. I don't think it's dark enough, and that's why I was going to say we, we're going to put the cherry on top in the um, deeper into the crease. But this is super pretty, guys. Wow. I'm impressed. Maybelline is my favorite, favorite drugstore um, brand ever. I honestly don't know if I need the cherry on top, but we'll, we'll see. But anyway, like I was saying, so we pretty much, he lived in different states, so we pretty much just talked for a whole month, and then he came back to visit me. And my dumbass, I always have faith in people and I really believe everything they say because I'm like, if you're going to run your own business, this guy must be like really focused and really, really disciplined enough to get his business started. As um, some of my friends know, most of my friends and my family, um, I'm trying to start my own business and I've already started. It's called Najella and that is my uh, business. It's a clothing boutique online. So I know what it takes to create a website and to get inventory and to market and just to try like, you know, building your business as, I'm sorry guys, as successful as possible, especially on a budget and then also working a full-time job and not really having time for myself. Like my apartment's always cluttered and messy because I just do so much in such a short time that I just don't have like the proper materials to do everything I want to do but I still make it work I have balance and we literally talked about that on the phone like for a month about balance and how everything's gonna get into gear I'm gonna take that um, cola float and put that a little bit more in my um, eyelid and blend those two out just so it looks a little bit more seamless. So anyway, we he came back to, you know, do a lot more discovery and research for his business here because he is actually trying to open a, a dispensary in Oklahoma. They like passed some kind of law where Oklahoma, they have dispensaries now, like medical marijuana. Um, so I'm thinking like, okay, well he could just stay with me. So I let him stay with me for a week. And when I tell you, I felt like I had a, a, a big little brother for a week. I had a big little brother for a week and I was not impressed whatsoever by this man. He was a lot of talk and no action and a little bit I know. He also just wanted to come here. Every time he comes here, he goes and buys um, like ounces and um, does his thing later on wherever he goes back to you know what I mean so I'm just like I thought he was gonna go to these seminars I thought he was gonna um, help me buy groceries and stuff like that I thought he was gonna do all these things that he said he was gonna do and I'm telling you like every time I meet a guy they tell me all these great things about them and this, that, and the other, and they end up being like the dumbest boys I've ever met in my life. And I don't know why I meet these people or why they come into my life, and I don't know like what message. So I'm actually taking the cherry on top and I'm putting it deep in my crease. Like, I'm not gonna sweep it all over my eye, I'm just gonna put it in the outer crease. 
So I don't know what kind of message God is trying to send me when it comes to men and like how they feel, how I should feel about them and what kind of precautions I need to take for, with them. Because at this point, like I feel like I have lowered my standards drastically from like literally my first boyfriend. And my first boyfriend was like, when I was 15 or something like that. And he is doing pretty good with his life now. I'm really proud of him and what he's doing with his life. And I'm just like, well, why did I get a cute little shoddy back in the day, but now it's like all these toys on me ain't ish. Literally, it's it's really sad. So yeah, I um, we didn't kiss, we didn't cuddle, we didn't do anything. He slept on my couch and that's it. So I'm literally like in shock because the person I am, and if I like you, I want to cuddle with you, I want to be all over you, I want to give you a chance. But with him, I was like, you going to sleep on the couch, do your thing. And at this time, I also had to work. Like when he came, I, I started my work week. So um, he didn't do anything he didn't get anything done he did everything last minute and there was just a lot of other things like red flags that made me really irritated so when he left he drove back to the state that he's from um he called me and he was freaking out because he ran out of gas so he pretty much tried to blame the fact that i didn't give him any gas money on him running out of gas and i was like no that's not that's not right you were out here for a week you said you brought twenty two hundred dollars and you want to blame the fact that i didn't give you gas money i didn't give you enough gas money so that's why you ran out of gas almost halfway through your tri trip like you were tripping you are tripping and i'm just like this guy's tripping like tripping is my favorite word by the way so at this point i'm like he's really blaming the fact that he's 29 guys i'm 23 and I'm just like, you really blaming a 23 year old who has her shit together. You really, really blaming me on the fact you almost ran out of gas? Okay. You stupid? Okay. So I don't know if I should keep with just this palette. I was going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette. But um, because this is such a light look, I don't want to go too dramatic with the black. But you know. I really do like black with this type of look um, but there's this dark color called root beer in this and it's like a really charcoal brown color and I'm not too sure if I want to use it or not I'm going to go ahead and take this black color in the Jaclyn Hill palette and we're just gonna put that all over our eye and smoke it out So I'm like, are you kidding me? Like you brought $2,200 for a week. Some people don't even make that in a whole month and you spent that in a week. What did you spend it on? Cause I didn't, you didn't help me with gas. You didn't help me with groceries like you said you was going to do. You bought me groceries once and that's it. Other than that, I made sure we had groceries and we were fed cause I'm a cheap ass person and I'm not about to go out to dinner if I don't have to go out to dinner. That's just not me. You know, I have priorities over here. Like I said, I run my own business. I work a nine to five um, for almost six days in a row. Like, I don't have time to be playing games. And I, I like made it clear. Like I made it clear from the jump. That's what it was. So I'm just saying like, no matter who you meet, even if it seems like you guys are compatible and you guys have so much in common, honestly, at the end of the day, you guys probably will not work out if um, there's not rules in place. Like when I have my next boyfriend or husband, oh, honey, there gonna be there's gonna be rules in place for everything, everything. Cause I ain't playing no games and that's one of my favorite phrases. I literally be like, I ain't playing no games. Especially like running a business and wanting it to be successful. Like I definitely slacking on my pimping 
not really i have everything set for my website i have a whole new shipment that will be coming in the next couple days the only thing i have to do is take pictures with uh, whoever's going to model my um, product and then put it out on instagram twitter facebook my website and just blast it and also um you know sending it to a couple people probably who might deserve it who will help market my clothing okay so anyway he also so i told him i was going to the show i was like there's this local artist coming well there's this local artist he's seen me at this event and i'm gonna go um and y'all Okay, I don't know how much I missed of the last clip because it did stop filming, but I was just saying, um, this guy, he's a local artist here, and he was singing at this place called Herman's Hideaway. So I told him about it. I was like, hey, I'm going to this local person's event. Remember, I was playing his songs in the car the other day. Like, I really like his message because it's so relatable, especially me being from Denver, Colorado um it just makes sense so I, I like him he's a good artist he has a very unique voice and he just be doing his thing and i love supporting local artists um like rachel bailey i love her so much she got a new song out called communicate with a, a guy named keenan and it's just bob it's just bob like literally denver folk get me like i literally whatever they sing or rap about i be like i can relate we grew up the same i feel you so right after he says this he's like after i say that he's like oh i um i have a show tomorrow which would be sunday and i was like you have a show okay let me hear you rap let me hear you practice right now what are you about to rap tomorrow what are you about to do so i'm going to take that fluffy brush that i first initially used i'm just going to blend that out just the edges so he was like oh you know I'm gonna you know do a couple songs this that and the other so the next day or a couple days after that well that whole conversation too he was like what's your YouTube again uh, I want to look at your videos so I told him like just type in my first name and it will pop up and everyone knows my first name is Matiasa what can I say that's what my dad named me Matiasa so he goes on to say and it did offend me he was like, no, I need your last name because if I put in your first name, you're not going to pop up because your name's not that unique. Excuse me? I, I don't know anybody else with my name. Sorry. I don't know anybody else with my name. So I told him, I was like, oh, that's really rude. We can't even talk anymore. We can't be friends. And I was just like low-key kidding, low-key not kidding. So we're just going to take some concealer and we're going to sculpt this part out just so that it's a little bit more seamless and cut just like that so yes i was really fucking i was really really offended by him saying that and so like the next day like I called him just to say hi and stuff like that, see where things were with him, and um, just wanted to see how he was doing, because I'm not rude. I, I, like, we gained some kind of relationship or friendship, so I'm going to check up on you and see what you doing, you know? So he was, I was like, how was your show? You said you performed on Saturday or on Sunday. And he was like, oh, no, I didn't perform. Um, I was doing sound check and engineering on Saturday night and I was like no you said you were performing your songs um, on Sunday and he's like no I didn't say that I was like yes you did like I'm not stupid I heard what you said so not only is he a liar at least that's what I think he is um, yeah, he's lying. He didn't do anything he said he was going to do. He said he did um, sound sound engineering when he said he was going to perform some of his songs and this, that, and the other. And it's funny because we watched a movie together when he was out here. And it was like a YouTube movie with one of these Instagram stars. And it was like 
he had a baby mama the baby mama was like oh you're just a dreaming ass nigga like that's all you are you you're not gonna succeed pretty much and i'm not saying he's not gonna succeed and i wish the best for him so i'm taking the anastasia beverly hills the am Reezy highlight and i'm just gonna oh my god i can't use this no did i use this oh, i shouldn't have used it i'm so stupid I don't know how I'm gonna use <laughs> put this highlight on. But anyway, so pretty much he, um this movie was literally like his life, like baby mama issues, stuff like that. And you know, I love kids, I love families, and I always wanted a big family. And at the end of the day, if I ended up marrying someone who has um At the end of the day, if I end up marrying someone who has kids, then that's just another blessing because I'll have more kids and just a bigger family, which I always wanted. But if you're not a good dad and you just over here letting people, whoever fucking watch your kids while you take naps at your own house and you're supposed to be taking care of them, um, I'm not, I'm not going to respect that, period. Like, you hired a whole babysitter to watch your kids while you didn't do shit except sleep talk about taking a nap what so the moral of the story is like no matter how amazing someone comes off no matter how handsome they are no matter what they say no matter what they look like like literally don't judge a book by its cover because people could look beautiful people could do this that and other but they're not who they say they are and when you find out their true colors that's when that's when you know it's kind of awkward to end things off because you have faith that they were the person they said they were i never lied to him um he was here when i first got my first order for my website because it launched on my birthday september 2nd and um y'all know me with the i always wipe shit on my hands when i do my makeup so i'm just like you know what i, I told you everything and then he gave me a hard drive right he gave me his hard drive that he's had for i don't know how many years and I needed a hard drive. First of all, it didn't work. Well, it worked, but it wouldn't let me delete any of the files on there, and it wouldn't let me um, put any of my files on there. So I was like, what kind of bootleg ass shit is this? So pretty much I went ahead and bought my own hard drive, like yesterday. However, when I go on this, like literally, he he navigated the whole hard drive. He showed me what, like, what other things was on the hard drive, and he went straight to this the folder that said videos. And it, he was like, "Oh, it has movies." I didn't know it had movies. How how long have you had this hard drive and your your stuff is on it? Then in the videos section, there was like a thousand videos of porn on it, and I was like, "Okay, that's another red." flag because like why would you even have a heart like i was not about to put that even even before i tried to put my files on there i told him i don't want to put my files on here because there's porn on and i don't want it to be lost one day and then i get in trouble or something like that so that was another red flag red flag and then also it was a couple days where you know I think every time that I needed him to do something, I like urged him to do it and then we did it. But every time he was like, no, we need to do something, this, that, and the other. Um, you know, I didn't mention anything. I wasn't going to be like, let's go, let's go. We got to get this done because I wanted to see how important it was to him, how urgent, how urgent it was to him for him to get his, his stuff done here in Colorado for him to be more advanced for his business in Oklahoma. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my highlight on finally in my inner corners. I use I have small eyes, so I usually like bring it all the way down here. Usually a little goes a lot, a, a long way, but with me, a lot goes a long way too, so. 
we don't put it on a lot. And this happened to me like two years ago. Two years ago, I met a guy on my birthday weekend and I just thought he was fine as hell. And I was like, you gonna be my next baby daddy? <laughs> I don't have kids, but I was like, he's fine. Like, I, he's, <laughs> and it's so funny because it's like these boys literally will spend hours talking to me, hours, 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 hours talking to me about their life issues. And you know, I'm not, I don't get like, I don't get, I don't have like pity for them. Like I don't feel bad for people who go through these things because it's life. And I've been through probably way worse than a lot of people, even the boys that I've talked to. So he was telling me like how him and his dad don't get along and how he lives with his dad, this and the other. And we just became really good friends, like really good friends during this time in my life. And uh, my dumb ass decided to uh, co-sign on a car with him, which messed up my credit a little bit. And everything's settled now, but like, that's another example of someone who like told me all these things, all his dreams, and I told him my dreams and everything I wanted to do with YouTube, with fashion, with just um, my family. And it's saddening because I literally have done everything that I said I was gonna do. But these guys, are not and it, it's crazy because I only date black guys and it's it's like a reoccurring theme and it's really sad and I'm like I know all black guys are not like this because I know plenty who are just amazing like my dad like he took care of us he made sure everything was paid for he was supportive encouraging wise like everything and I'm like why am I falling for these dippy ass boys it's ridiculous Okay, so now I'm gonna take that color, um, Grape Pop, and I'm gonna put it right below here, my little lower lash line. So anyway, I'm trying to get to the moral of the story. You know, really get to know someone before you put any confidence into them or put any kind of time into them because, you, like honestly, people nowadays have to prove themselves. They really truly do need to prove themselves. Because, and that makes me a little bit heartless because, you know, I've gotten my heart broken and I don't use that as an excuse to like carry on with my life and um, find someone who is right for me. But when I like actually put my heart, my heart into someone or something and it doesn't work out because of the other person if it, it really like makes me want to be heartless and not give a dang about boys like I, at the end of the day i'm so secure oh and then he said i don't want you watching insecure the boy i just met this past my past birthday he was like oh and then i don't want you watching insecure because it's making you insecure I about like flipped out on him. I was like, he's tripping because he's insecure talking about, oh, did you find any um, other boys when you went out to that uh, event where that guy was singing? Oh, you know that guy. Um, you just love um, guys who have status and this, that, and the other. I'm like, boo, at the end of the day, if I had to choose between you and myself and there was no one else on this earth i would choose me because i don't got time to be wasting i could procreate by my damn self i'll manifest that and i'm being serious okay i'm gonna zoom in really fast okay so this is pretty much what the look is looking like with the purple and brown and I really like it. I love the black. Um, this is perfect for October because it's a spooky month and it's a fall month. So I'm giving you small. I'm actually not giving you small. I'm giving you fall vibes, October vibes, color vibes because I truly love monotone colors, but I also love color colors like purple and blue and pink and stuff like that and I just don't want to give that up right now, okay? Okay, 
So now I'm just gonna put some mascara on and then we're gonna be done with the look. I'll be right back. I also decided to just, you know, be a little bit more spicy. It is October, it is the Halloween month. So I decided to put on some gold yellow eyeliner and I, I love it. It's so cute. Like this honestly looks so much better in person. Like I am dying right now. Super cute. So I am using these like Halloween theme eyelashes and I know I said I was gonna put them on but I got so in tune with my eyeliner um, I want to show you guys these these are called bat those lashes um, in the style bat girl by Ardell eyelashes so these are super duper cute eyelashes very fluffy bat girl so I'm super excited to put these on just because there's long and fluffy so I'll be right back <sighs> when I tell you eyelashes look stupid as on me I do not wear, like wearing fake eyelashes actually so we just gonna take this thing off okay either I don't know how to put these things on or these just don't work out for me we're gonna put the we're gonna use these we're gonna use these in a different video where I feel like putting these on. But in the meantime, we're just gonna put like 10 coats of mascara on, okay? Cause that was not working out at all. Make my eyelashes all crusty. You know, it's really hard to put on mascara when your eyelashes are curly AF. Curly. Especially this corner is like a cluster of curls. This is why I do, I do my own makeup because if someone was trying to do my makeup, they would not know how to do it. Mm -mm. No, no, honey, they would not. And typically, I don't put on uh, my eyelashes when. Uh, so today I put mascara on before I put my eyelashes on and typically I don't do that. So I think that's what kind of caused it to not work out either. But my eyes are so small that even cutting the eyelashes, it will still look like I'm flying away from all my problems because that's how bad these eyelashes looked on me. So we ain't going, we ain't going to do that. And I like my natural eyelashes better too because you could do, you could see a lot more of the work done on the eye than it being covered by eyelashes. So uh, I guess that is the completed look, guys. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for um, just watching me do my eye makeup and then also me hit listening to me ramble because I was rambling, rambling, rambling this whole time because it was just on my mind because I'm super irritated. I'm not sad. I'm not angry. I'm just irritated. Like I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. So I'm gonna be that bomb auntie for the rest of my life. That's just it. That's what it's gonna be. That's just what it's gonna be. Anyway, if you like this look and you will really like the Maybelline um, palette, the Soda Pop palette, go ahead and try it out because it's bomb. It's really good, and pigmented. They have really cool, fun colors in it. So I would really try that. This is from NYX. Uh, and everything else is not going to be detailed because it was not a foundation video. So, <laughs> less work for me. All right, so please go ahead and like this video. Comment below and subscribe to my channel for more. And just a quick 
update in the next couple weeks we are going to be putting out more content uh, for Najilla and uh, Najilla is my clothing line as mentioned in the uh, video earlier and we are going to put a whole lookbook together and we're going to give it to you guys as far as videos visuals and pictures so go ahead and follow Najilla clothing on Instagram go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Matiasa and that's everything pretty much that's all my social media media handles and uh, yeah thank you all for supporting me thank you all for coming back to my channel and watching my videos and until next time remember you are a goddess peace out